So if you want to build an all-star link node, then you're going to need a CM108 USB sound fob. And for that, you're going to have to do some modifications. Here's a couple that I've got here. This one is just a cheap board that I got off the internet. But you see there that I had to modify it by putting a diode in there. I had to do a little bit of soldering to try and get it to work. And you also need to make sure that you get the genuine USB uh, sound cards, the CM108s, because otherwise, All Star Link doesn't recognize it. Here's another one that I modified and it's in a case. I'm just using a cable tie to hold it together. But that is a little bit of mucking around to try and get it to work. That's where the AIOC board comes in, where you can use this as a sound card interface in and out. And it's also got PTT, COS, and other signals that you need for All Star Link. The only problem is that All Star Link does not detect this as a genuine CM108 uh, out of the box with the normal firmware programming. That's where Herb G1LRO has come up with a script that you can use. You can flash the firmware on this to emulate basically a CM108 and you can use one of these, a cheap handheld such as a Baofeng or a Quanchang and you can build an all-star link node quick and easy. No soldering, no modification hardware-wise whatsoever. So for this, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need a Raspberry Pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my existing Raspberry Pi node that I've already set up and built. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shut this one down. So come in, shut it down. And once this powers off, I'm going to remove this Pi Hat, or this, not the Pi Hat, sorry, the Sherry Pi 3 plug-in, plug-in board, which we're now good to unplug. The first thing that I need to do is we need to remove the existing All-Star SD card. So this has already been set up. If you don't know how to set up All-Star, I do have a video on setting up, setting it up using the Ham VoIP image. So you can go and step-by-step uh, -step set that up if you want to. Once you've set that up, of course, take it out of the Raspberry Pi. And what we want to do is we want to get a blank SD card. So what we need to do is we need to image up a blank Raspberry Pi image to flash this firmware. It's just the quickest and easiest way. So there's a link below. You'll want to download this, the Raspberry Pi imager. So just go in, choose the device. So my device is a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, choose the operating system. So we're going to choose this one, the Raspberry Pi OS Legacy 32-bit. And this is a port of Debian Bullseye, blah, blah, blah. We're going to select that. Choose our storage. Choose our blank SD card. So this is going to write over anything over the SD card. So again, choose a blank one. Hit Next. It's going to ask you if you want to apply some OS customization settings. So we want to click Edit Settings to do some. So what we've got here is I've set a host name. So I'm just going to call it TestPy. We can set a username and password. So I've just got my username is Hayden. Let's go in and put in a password. Configure wireless LAN, we're going to untick because I'm going to plug in with a cable to do this. You can also plug in a keyboard and a monitor if you want to do it that way as well. But we're going to do it over SSH. So we need to go into services. Tick enable SSH, use password authentication. So once you've got all of these settings set, um, choose your location. Mine's obviously Tasmania, Australia, but choose your location. Um, hit save and it will say, do you want to apply this? Select yes. Now it's going to say, do you, it's going to erase. Do you want to continue? Select yes. And what this is going to do is write the image to the SD card. Now, once this is done, what we can do is we can then boot up this Pi and we can run Herb's scripts to be able to configure the firmware or flash the firmware onto our AOIC board. So it might take a little bit of time to boot up so you can plug in a monitor and a keyboard if you want to see the progress and log in that way and do the firmware updates that way. I'm going to do it over SSH. So I'm basically going to log in with those credentials that I set when I was doing the image settings. And now we're logged in. So I'm here on the test pie unit. So what we wanna do is we wanna run a couple of things here. The first one that we want to do is we want to run Herb's script to download the necessary files and firmware to be able to flash to the AOIC. So we're gonna run wget www.g1lro.uk 
forward slash run me once dot sh. So that's going to run. It's going to download the script file that we could see there. Next thing that we want to do is we want to run chmod plus x run me once dot sh. So this is basically making this script file executable. Then we want to execute this script. So run me once dot sh. And this will go ahead and download a whole pile of packages. If it comes up and prompts you to uh, progress by uh, pressing Y, just select Y for yes to progress and install all of the dependencies that it's going to ask for. And what this is exactly doing is it is downloading the firmware and flash utility to update the AOIC to version 1.3 firmware. It's going to download the scripts to alter the ID of the AOIC CPU so that it emulates a CM108 for All Star Link, which is what we want. And it's also going to have a script there so that we can revert this back to the original identity if we really need to as well. So this is asking me to continue. I just hit yes. Just wait for it. And the good thing about doing this with a fresh install is that there shouldn't really be anything else installed on here, so it should just work. If you use an existing Pi or an existing Linux box to do this, you may have some trial and error depending on what you've already got installed on your machine, so that's why we're doing it uh, from scratch, basically. So there's the firmware that's installed. We've also got the Flash scripts and everything else. So now what we need to do is we need to plug in our AIS, AIOC boards in, and put it into DFU mode. So to do that, I'm just going to put a jumper there between the two outer pins, as you can see on the board. Just make sure that you're not shorting out any other pins as well. And now what we wanna do is get a USB-C cable, plug the USB-C cable from the AIOC and plug that into the Raspberry Pi. There's not gonna be any lights on the AIC board as well, just to confirm that if you don't see any lights, don't worry about it because it is in DFU mode. Okay, now that we're back here, what we need to do is we need to run a couple of scripts. The first one is flash1.3, uh, oops, if I can spell, flash1.3.sh. And what this is going to be doing now is flashing the firmware to the uh, AOIC. Now this does repeat every 10 seconds. So once it's finished, we'll have to press control C to stop that or remove the USB cable in, in the meantime. Otherwise it will redo again. Don't do it halfway through flashing. So you can see there, now it's done. Pull from USB cable. I'm just gonna hit control C to stop that script. I can now pull the USB-C cable out of the AOIC, take off my jumper and plug in the USB-C again and we should see our green, green light there and I saw the red flashing light. Now there is one other thing that we need to do. All Star Link needs to see this as a CM108. So we need to change the USB ID of the uh, device on the AIC board. So basically we're going to run sudo python aioc.py and we want to be looking here. So this is the all-in-one cable. We want to have a look here and make sure that the USB ID is matching this 000C08D8C. Now, if we run a LS USB, this will give us a list of all of our USB devices currently enumerated on the Pi. So you can see here, there's the generic all-in-one cable. So what we want to do is just unplug the USB-C from the AOIC board, plug it back in again, run that same command, and you can see now it's changed. It has changed from the generic all-in-one cable to the C Media Electronics Inc. audio adapter, the CM108, and there's our device ID. So now we should be good to go and plug this into our All-Star Link node. So basically just hit exit to exit out of our existing uh, Raspberry Pi test Pi. And what I want to do now is just come over, power off the the Pi, take out the test Pi SD card, plug in our All-Star Link image into the Raspberry Pi again.
Uh, leave our CM108 now, our AIC, plugged in. Power this back on. And I'm just going to plug it in here into a Baofeng GT5R. So now that we're logged in, there are a couple of settings that we need to change or confirm that uh, are set up correctly. So we want to go down to option at number nine, start bash shell interface. So once we're in here, we want to make sure that we are in the correct directory. So we want to go cd, etc. slash asterisk, run that. Once we're there, we can run ls to see what we've got in these files. And we want to run nano simple usb.conf to configure our simple USB. So we can see here that our carrier from, that should be set to USB invert. Our CTCSS from should be set to no and invert PTT should be set to zero. And they should be the only settings that you require. If you do change anything in there, then you will need to save and restart your node. So you can just come back down here and uh, reboot the system. Uh, I didn't change anything, so I should be able to just turn on my Baofeng. And we'll go to menu 12. And if we go now to enable toggle transmit test tone, so we just go E and let's go three so the default setting is 175 let's just turn up this other radio and you can hear there that my node is transmitting so you can adjust the tone here um, adjust it for what sounds not too loud if you do have a service monitor then you can adjust this properly of course um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do here in Simple USB 2. You can set the receive uh, level there as well. So, okay, 7 hotel, hotel testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You want to set that so that that sort of isn't peaking past that 5 kilohertz uh, level there. So you can set a new value. Um, but basically, that's the AO. I see running with All Star Link. So if you need more information on how to set up All Star Link with the AOIC, then there is a link below to Herb's guide, so you can run through that again if you like. There is also a link here on the screen on how to set up All Star Link using the Hamvoip image, which is sort of the first step that you want to do if you don't already have a node.